Hi, I'm Diane Cometa, and today on Dishing with Di, I'm gonna show you how to make mint chocolate chip ice cream without using an ice cream maker. This is the perfect combination, mint and chocolate, and this is a really simple way to make ice cream. So let me show you what you need, and we'll get started on Dishing with Di. some sweetened condensed milk, some mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, some peppermint extract, and some vanilla bean paste or pure vanilla extract. I also have some heavy whipping cream in my refrigerator chilling along with the bowl and the whisk of my stand mixer in my freezer chilling. So we're going to make some whipped cream with that and I'll tell you about that in a few minutes. Optionally you need some green food coloring. I like when my mint chocolate chip ice cream is green so I add a few drops of this in but you don't need to do that if you don't want to. So just an option for you. So the first thing we're going to do is take the sweetened condensed milk along with the peppermint extract and the pure vanilla bean paste or if you're using vanilla extract and we're going to combine that into a bowl and this sweetened condensed milk is going to help it to get that real creamy texture that you have when you use an ice cream maker. Sweetened condensed milk is really um, just milk that the water has been basically removed from and sugar has been added to it so it doesn't have the water in it that would normally crystallized if you were using milk. So this is part of the reason that makes this very simple and makes it like really super easy to get your ice cream. So now we have the pure peppermint extract and I'm gonna put some of that in to get that nice minty flavor. And I like to use vanilla bean paste. It has like the little flicks of the vanilla bean in there. And when you mix that around, you see all the little vanilla beans in there. I'm just gonna mix this through until it gets really thoroughly combined. And now I'm gonna add a couple drops of this green food coloring. And just give that a twirl around. It might look really dark at first when you put that in and you might say like, oh no, that's too green. But after we add the you know, whipped cream into it, it lightens up and it'll look just fine. So here's basically what it's gonna look like. So now we're gonna take these mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, I just love these things, and we're gonna add these in. So just stir that through. And now I'm gonna go over and grab my whipped cream and my bowl and whisk, and we're gonna whip that cream up. Now into the bowl of my stand mixer, and this is a very cold bowl, I'm adding the heavy whipping cream. You don't wanna take out the heavy cream or the a bowl and whisk until you're ready to get started. So now I'm gonna start with my mixer on low, and then I'm gonna crank it up, and I'm gonna whip this until it gets firm peaks. Now if you want a full lesson on how to whip cream, I do have a video on that so you can just check. I'll leave a link for you here and I'll leave a link below the video and you'll be able to do that on your own if you want. My cream is whipped and this is what you're looking for. And now I'm going to take the cream and I'm going to fold it into my sweetened condensed milk mixture. I'm just going to put a little bit in first kind of get it going. So once you kind of get the sweetened condensed milk mixture a little bit thinned out from that whipped cream, then you can add the rest in. So that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to add in the rest of this whipped cream. And just fold that in and get it really well combined. And you see how fluffy that is? Okay, that is folded in very nicely and it smells incredible. You know I'm gonna be tasting this soon. So now get yourself a freezer safe container and you're gonna pour this right in. Look at that, look how creamy that is. And you see all the little flicks of that vanilla bean paste in there? Just adds a little extra flavor, I think. Let's get this all in there. super fluffy and that's why you don't want to stir the whipped cream in you want to fold it so it keeps this nice creamy fluffy texture 
and then this is going to go into your freezer for six to eight hours or overnight or basically until it gets firm so I'm just gonna put a cover on this and save this for later <laughs> and then don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you what this looks like when it's all done. My ice cream is done and it's nice and cold and I'm just serving some up into this nice little bowl here. Look how creamy that is. And there we go. You can see it looks just like regular ice cream and believe me, it's nice and creamy and delicious love mint chocolate chip this was in there for about eight hours by the way mm. creamy chips minty you won't be able to tell the difference i'm telling you between this and regular churned ice cream this is over the top I am a mint chocolate chip lover, and the full recipe for this is on my website, magicianwithdye.com. I look forward to seeing you next time, and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. Come and try this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.